it's the home page. Uh, so the home page for uh, Dave's redistricting. Um, so if you, you know, I'm, I'm already logged in. Um, so I'm kind of assuming you've maybe looked at how to log in and sign up. It's just, you know, email password. Uh, when you come to the home page, it should be pretty obvious how to log in or sign up. Um, so when you're at the home page here, you'll see on the top bar, there's some of these uh, little controls and I'm hovering over the one called maps now. So that's how you get to your My Maps. There's also uh, a YouTube link. We've got some kind of help, help videos, uh, great for getting started there and a medium page, uh, a, a medium site with a lot of articles, lots and lots of medium articles, kind of really digging into some, some of the deeper aspects of different, you know, uh, everything from analytics to how to uh, build your map. So, and you can always, you know, there's Twitter, et cetera. Okay, let's go to my maps. Um, so I have here, uh, I, I made a South Lake Union one earlier. <laughs> um, and then I have a copy of the current Seattle City Council districts. So um, you, you may have already seen on the, uh, I'll click over here. Hopefully you can see that this is the Seattle redistricting site. Is that showing up there? Or is yes. it still showing? Yeah. Yes. So uh, under the draw your map, if you click that link, that's going to take you to into Dave's redistricting app um, and it'll take you to the Seattle current city council district map. And what I did already is I just made a copy of that. So when you, if you click that link, you know, from the Seattle redistricting site, it'll be a view only a view of that map. And, but you can always make a copy and then you can edit it yourself, which is what I've done here. Okay. Okay. But we'll come back to that. Let's make a new community map for the central area you know, neighborhood. Okay. So uh, you can see these controls up here, new map, new community import. So let's click on new community, pick a state, which is Washington. Okay. And uh, we'll just name that here. That's uh, what central area neighborhood. What's the, you have the. Can you remind us what acronym? the acronyms are for? It's the central it's area the, neighborhood district. C A N D C. Oh, yes. Yeah. I was thinking right. about candies. Yeah. Candies. Central area, central area neighborhood district council. Right. Right. So I'll just, I'll just put that as the name of this map. Um, and then you can add a description down here if you want to add a little bit more text to talk about the community. Um, I, I won't do that right now, but you, you can always do it later. Okay. Can we and just can, add training in case we save it? <laughs> oh, sure. All right. I'll put training right here. I mean, and again, you can always edit that later. So don't think you, you can't um, get back here. I wonder, um, I wonder, though, if you want to call it the central area because. I mean, this is a geographic area that's a long time community and the neighborhood district council doesn't necessarily map to that, but the city recognizes the historic overlay and the design, the design um, review boards. And so I don't know how you want to play it, but or if you're saving this to be public. Um, well, it's whatever, whatever you would you all would like to call it. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I can either just say one, either, either one works because I think it should be. I mean, we're not big enough to take up a whole district, so it'd be good if we were all if it's all in the same district. Right. That's what. Yeah. We're, we'll kind of sort of see how that how you can view that and play that out. So, um, but why don't I just leave it like that? Okay. Um, and then we can all, you can always change the name later as well. So we, we could change it a little, little, little bit later. So what, what this does, a community map, it just creates a, a map with one shape. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, to paint one area, you know, paint some precincts and, and census blocks um, that represent the community. Okay, so, so you hit apply, okay. 
And now that takes us to our, uh, our map here. Now, this is just, you know, this is the whole state, um, which is how the community maps just are, start out as, as a whole state. So we'll have to zoom in. So I'm gonna zoom in. Now, um, this is kind of like Google Maps. So you can use the, the plus minus controls to zoom in and out, or you can use, like I'm using the mouse wheel right now um, to, to zoom in, right? So I'm kind of zooming in, zooming in. Uh, you kind of, yeah, so here we're getting to the Seattle area. Now these lines you're seeing here are the precinct lines and you can turn them on and off. You can see on the left-hand side here, there's a little panel. Uh, you know, right now I have the background map on, but you can turn that off or turn it, you know, on and off. You can turn these precinct lines on or off as well. Okay, and, and there's and other Dave, things too. Uh, mm -hmm. Yesterday, somebody asked me in what, and this, this are voting precincts only. It's just yes. for general information. Yes, <clears throat> that's Somebody right. It was confusing it with the police precincts. Uh, right. That's yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. These are the voting precincts as currently defined. Um, I, I, you know, a lot of times you know, they'll change, I think, as well with the legislative redistricting. They're going to be they're going to be tinkering with with those. Um, so anyway, we'll kind of get into here, into this area. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, maybe you all can help me a little bit to define. I've, I kind of read, I, I can read the definition of the boundaries of the central area neighborhood. And so let's try to make a map that represents that area. Okay. So uh, I'm going to turn the precinct lines back on just to kind of. It, I, it gets a little busy, but um, so you can turn them on and off. Um, and, and let's see, if I look here right, it's, I'm going to start at the top. So it's kind of Madison Avenue out to Lake Washington Boulevard on the right. So let's, let's go ahead and try to paint that. So all we do to make a map, you, you click on the, the little paintbrush up here that puts you into paint mode. And then clicking on the precincts will paint them, which you know will include them in this area map that we're drawing. If you want to stop paint mode, you click on the hand that puts you back into pan mode. When you're in pan mode, you can pan the map, sort of like Google Maps. So what I do, I, I hold my left mouse button down and kind of drag it like that to pan, okay. Um, there's also an erase button. So in other words, if I, you know, I, I paint a couple districts and I, oh, that, that was a mistake. I can erase them by doing that. I hate, uh, to, I hate to say this, but a whole lot of those precincts around where Madison bisects and below it got changed in, just now by the state. Oh yeah, is it official with the new precincts? <laughs> Well, all the, all the Democrats, uh, yeah, no, there's been laws passed. Anyway, we'll have to catch up to that. Do we, do we worry about precincts then? We can't use streets? Um, well, well, you can use streets. So you can um, go down to the census block level, which, which we'll do in, in just a minute okay, here. Thank so, you. so yeah, Sorry so we can, <laughs> um, yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's really, it's a great question because um, looking at the, the boundaries that were described in the letter uh, <clears throat> from from you all, um, there's definitely precincts that kind of you know have uh, some of the blocks in the area and some of the blocks out of the area. So to get it right, we, we will need to go to the block level. <clears throat> um, uh, I just wanted to point out one other thing here, like you know if I <clears throat> paint some precincts that I don't want, there's an undo here as well. So that little back arrow undo. Okay, it's just a nice little thing to have. Okay, so let's see here. Um, so I'm gonna, I'll paint some of these precincts up Madison Avenue. Now, according to your letter, it says Lake Washington Boulevard. 
Now you can kind of see here, I think that's Lake Washington Boulevard right there. And so that does sort of, the, the Lake Washington Boulevard cuts through that precinct there. Are you so, sure it didn't say Lake Washington? Um, well, oh, I, I mean, <clears throat> on some of the map things, but you know, basically it's Lake Washington is the. Okay, well, that, that is a good point because, you know, sorry, go, go ahead. Well, I think Lake Washington Boulevard was mentioned a little bit right at the northern or northern boundaries, mm -hmm. but mo most of it goes all the way over to Lake Washington itself. To the lake itself. Yeah. Right, right. And you I guess. Do you include Madison Park? No, I think we, I think it usually, I think it chopped off, it chopped off, it's like, well, it depends on which map, and I don't have the map right in front of me, but it, the northern boundary tended to chop off around anywhere from um, Roy to a little bit south of there, was the street that's south of there. Okay. It doesn't, go, it doesn't go that far. So, so see where it says Denny Blaine? Yeah. yeah. Denny Blaine would be, as far as people, people in Madison Park don't consider themselves part of the central area. But, right. but it, that's why they say Lake Washington Boulevard. But then after that, it really is Lake Washington. So it's kind right. of, like, but yeah. Denny Blaine is open. Denny Blaine is open where it thinks it, it, thinks it belongs. Right. Um, it's schizophrenic, who, which, yeah, where they think they live. But you got <laughs> kind of got it it's that 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 kind of diagonal line is like washington boulevard through danny boy right right mm -hmm. okay so let's yeah let's try to make it uh on the street lake washington boulevard until we kind of get i guess down into this this district so that it'll show at least it'll show you i mean and, and of course you all can can do this uh as well and i'll show you how to to get down to the block level so um you can see I'm still in paint mode and you know wherever I'm hovering you can see it uh, gives you that uh, the shading to tell you what what precinct uh, you would be coloring if you clicked that so I'm going to click this block button so this this little control here says what area you're painting okay so I'll click that block button and now when I'm hovering over the precinct I'm going to click it and it shatters the precinct into blocks okay so you see how those block lines come up came up Let, so let's zoom in and then we can paint the individual blocks so let's paint here these here um now you you might notice how you know these lines don't exactly like the line of this block that top line it doesn't exactly follow the street and that's that's not um, that's the reason for that is because we simplified those lines. It just makes it more efficient. So in reality, that line, you know, that precinct does follow that street boundary um, almost definitely, but we simplified it. it. You know, the thing is, if you follow all those little curves exactly, you can imagine that's a lot more little points that yep. have to be stored in memory, et cetera, et cetera. And it, and it slows everything down um, in terms of performance for the app. So don't worry about that. Sometimes, you know, you might kind of see that. I would say, don't worry about it. Um, so we've painted those blocks now. And so there's a little checkbox here. So I can click that, that kind of uh, unshatters that, um, that precinct. And you can see now we've painted part of that precinct as part of our, our central area. So let's let's go to this next one here. And we'll kind of do the same thing. Um, so we'll we'll paint these blocks in here. I mean now it's a little bit, it can be interesting, you know, sometimes census blocks, you can kind of say, well, here's a block. And it's like, wow, that's kind of a, you know, why why did the Census Bureau have this as a block instead of maybe the top half should be separated from the bottom nobody half? Well, lives, nobody we're lives stuck there. with it. We're stuck with the census blocks. Yeah, nobody, li <laughs> nobody lives there. Nobody lives there. Uh, yeah, right. So maybe we don't really care, right? So I won't add that. Dave, there's um, a question in the chat. Yeah. Okay. 
there's a there's a couple but one is if there's a way to make the text darker for those with vision issues oh is um you mean this the, the shade this color i think the text darker. or the text uh the text on the map uh you know we don't have a way it's it's really you know it's just a background map mm -hmm. that we are getting from mapbox i mean so we only have a single background map. So unfortunately, mm -hmm. we can't really make that. Um, yeah, we can't really change the, the text. We can we can change the color. Um, you know, if you don't like this green, for example, I'll just since we, we, we brought that up, if you click this little gear icon in the upper right, it takes you back to that where we started, you know, that uh, so you can always go back and, and change some of these things. And one of the things is you can change the color. You can change the color palette that we're using to select the colors. So for example, change the color. Uh, I mean, anybody want a different color? Should we make it, you know, that color? I don't know. I, I can leave it alone, but um, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'll leave it alone for now. But this is how you can change it. And you can change the palette here as well. So you can see we have a number of different palettes uh, so whatever works for you, you know, you can, you can select a different palette there. Okay. So I'm going to cancel that. Okay. So let's try to keep, let's keep drawing this. Um, I'm going to zoom out so I can go back to precincts to try to go a little faster here. Um, you know, there are a couple of shortcuts here. I'll just mention um, one is you can, draw, you can drag out a box and then paint everything in the box. So what I do on a Mac, you hold down the command key. On Windows, it's the control key. So, so I'm holding down the command key and now I'm gonna hold down my left mouse button and uh, drag out that box. That's our, our, our dog, he's gonna, he's, He's going he's gonna to go out for a walk, but sometimes when he's sitting in his bed, he's like, I don't want to move right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's going to get a walk. Okay, so that was the drag box um, concept there. So let's just keep kind of painting this here. Uh, okay, it looks like I missed a block. You can see here by, by that shading there, I missed a block in that Denny Blaine block. So I'm gonna to have to go back to the block level, click that again, and then add those two blocks. Okay, go back to precinct, okay? Um, now I use my, the mouse wheel again, is kind of how I zoom in and out there. So that's what I'm using there. Okay, so we go down here. Um, now this goes down to Massachusetts, right? So let's see here where Massachusetts is. Um, now where is that, is it, uh, let's see, there it is there. So just a little bit below uh, the highway, I-90. So we're, again, we're gonna have to do some block editing here to get that. So I'll, I'll paint these. And then for all of these precincts here, we'll have to use the blocks. So I'll go back to block. Okay, and we'll paint that here. So I'm just kind of, I'm holding my mouse button down and sweeping across. So that's a, another little shortcut. Um, now, sometimes you'll notice when you're doing block editing, you know, the, the highways have these really kind of little blocks that are, you know, really just roads, right? So they can be a little, uh, it's easy to miss them. So I'm going to use the drag box here to kind of do that. Now, interestingly, we've got this little block. So we have to say, oh, should that be in or out? I don't know what your opinion and is. Dave, for those mm -hmm. who um, might have stepped away or just gotten in a little bit late, what mm -hmm. we're doing right now, we, what we're doing is just starting the whole, um, the whole district area, right? You are following. Can you just tell us what you're doing right now? Yes. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're draw, drawing a community map for the central a for the central area based on uh the description from the central area neighborhood district council okay 
that's right <laughs> which is exactly and as i look at it it's pretty much nearly all overlays the design review board boundaries and mm -hmm. historic mm -hmm. overlay and all of it so we're i think we're great okay okay well, let's let me, uh, let me just finish this up here okay and we'll just do our best to okay that I ended up painting a little more than I wanted to there, so I can undo that, right? And that little piece right there and go back to doing these. So, and as you can see here, each time I move to a different precinct, it just shatters that precinct right away and kind of heals the previous one. Um, and you can kind of see here how I missed a little piece of the highway there in that last one. So we go back and get that. Okay, so that's a hard one to get. Some of them are very, very small. There we go. All right. Um, so let's just, I'll fill in the rest of this here uh, with the precincts. Okay. That should be pretty easy. Okay, so now let's see. So. Um, now, maybe is it the case that you don't include this piece of the international district here that I've included? So, no. No, so we don't. So, so we should kind of cut this area out here, right? No. Yes, because I know for one that international district CID is asking to stay whole themselves. So, no, we don't want to take some part of that. Exactly right. right. Exactly right. Right, right. Okay, so uh, let me just paint. I'll paint these other pieces, and we'll come back and kind of fix that. Now, let's see. This is uh, Boren. Is that right there? Or Boren? So we have to, I have to cut out a piece. Oh, I guess yeah. this. It just goes up to Broadway. Is that right? Or it goes to Broadway and then to Boren. So this. So, so this little chunk. Let's see if I can get this right and you can tell me. Yeah, that precinct is like split really between. This, right. Yep. So one thing. Broadway down and then there's Boren kind of goes off to the right. And right, then, kind of right. And Rainier yep. Avenue. It's like the main streets. Yep. Okay, so here's here's another little trick. Um, so I already painted this precinct. Um, and so I just want to remove a few of the blocks from that you know to kind of get this right so i can go to block level i can hit the erase button click the precinct and now i'm just going to going to erase these that are on the other side of boren or maybe maybe we have to erase all of these maybe it's really broadway down to boren is that right yeah. um, so it's kind of like so now i have to erase some of this here all right, so I erase that, if I get that right. Um, and then do we include that little that little triangle there? <laughs> I'll leave it off for right now, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, right, I and mean, this is, so this is when you're working on a map, if you wanna, you know, do this for yourself, this is the kind of thing, you know, you, you can right. get down to that little, little detail there. Yeah, and we want you to save this for us. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I can, I can, I can share a link and then you can, you know, you can have your own copy of it. Uh, okay. So I erased that. Now I'm going to paint in this part right here, right? There. Something like that. And I need to uh, shatter this piece too to erase that oops right in there okay i think we got it there um and then this piece over here we're going to erase so here i guess i need to get it okay okay how's that <laughs> <clears throat> so, so what we've done, you know, we've defined this, this area um, as the, the central area. Now, um, 
what we can do here, let's go back to this settings thing. Um, right now, the label on this is just one, right? Because that's kind of what we defaulted to. But if we want to include this in another map, like the, the full city map, which is what I'll, I'll show you how to do next, um, we want to have a label that, you know, it makes more sense than one. So um, we can we can say central area neighbor, neighbor, we can say can, we can, how would you like me to label it? C-A-N or central area or- Central area. Central area, central area. So we can label that whatever we want, okay. So I see our thing said Boron to Rainier, Rainier to Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King to Massachusetts. Okay, so- uh, let's oh, that see. was on that one side, yes. Yeah, where did Martin Luther King? Oh, is that down here close to? Got a little triangle with the non Rainier. Exactly. Oh, so right, right here should be included, right? Correct. Yeah, no, so no. basically you're, you're following Rainier south, and then if you keep tracking Rainier down, <laughs> it eventually intersects with MLK. Uh, just. Oh, yeah. way down here, way uh -huh. down here. Really? That's the lines that we used, yes. Now, I am not about to try to tell you that I think <laughs> that is necessarily- hey, hey, put it out there and let people argue. I, I wanna see the territorial- Okay, so all the way back up and then it would come up to Mass back up to Massachusetts. So yeah. it's got kind of a, a long- yeah. it's, okay. it's the Coleman, I mean, the museum, right, obviously, but also the whole Coleman Triangle neighborhood has right. traditionally been part of- <laughs> Right, so it's here. But Broadway to Boron, Boron to Rainier, Rainier to MLK, MLK to Massachusetts, and then Massachusetts to Lake Washington. So once you get to Massachusetts, you go to Lake Washington. Right. Well, I don't think it's Rainier. To, is it Rainier to MLK? Oh. That's, that's the one way, I think we argued about that. So, but that's what our letter said. It, it does, yeah, it does say that. So what, I'll, I'll just put it in there for now. And then of course you all can can change it later um, on your own copy. Well, you know, Mount Baker tends to stay along the lake. So I get this, mm -hmm. I get it. Right. So I think we were, and Mount Baker tends to identify with the South, south area. So that's well, why I think. They work on that area around around MLK and Rainier a lot. They've taken stewardship out of it, but the Mount Baker community tends to focus uh, towards right. the lake. That'll be an interesting conversation. That should probably right. Be right. Had. Okay, so there we there I we go. What what we wanted was to make sure the lid was in the central district. That the lid continued to be in the central area, but not necessarily Mount Baker. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. So now let's um, let's take this map and put it on top of the Seattle Council map. Okay. So um, so we've got this this done here. We can always come back to it and edit it, and then whatever changes we do here would be reflected back in wherever you use this map. Yes, and I think that you'll see that is if you use a current council district, this is all in. Case. This is all in one council district. Well, is it? I don't know. I guess we'll see. We will see. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we go back to the map, uh, to my maps, that little maps thing. A, you know, we have the copy of the current city council districts. So I'll, I'll click edit on that. So that comes up here. And uh, there we go. Okay. So, okay, so, so now um, this, this map, this is a, the map that I copied from the map on the city redistricting site. Um, and it already has a bunch of these overlays in it. Oh, um, is, this, in this. is this a current district that you've got here? Yes, this is a current district. Okay, that's, that's I district. just want to. Yeah. yeah, you can kind of see if you look at the yeah. on the left hand side, you can see yeah. how District 7 
is has almost 18,000 too many people in it. Yes. Because it's grown so much over the last decade. And these other, you know, some of the others have not enough people like District 1, District 2, uh, and District 5. Okay. So, um, so now with each of these overlays, looking at the, the bottom and custom overlays here at the bottom left corner, you can see there's a little kind of a paint bucket icon. So if you click that, you can control whether you're viewing that particular overlay. So right now, I'm not viewing anything on the city, the old city council districts, which of course are gonna be the same as what this map has, but we could add the lines, we could add the fill, we could add the, the name, right? So you can see I, when I clicked A, that's the, the label, and it brought that you know, district one, district two label in from the overlay. Okay, so this is how you control the individual overlays that to, you know, viewing them in the map. So I'm gonna turn that off. So all, all the current overlays are, are not showing up here, even though they're available to toggle different things if you want. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add that over, add an overlay for that map we just created. So you click this gear icon here, there's the overlays we already have. Now there's a difference between layers and maps. Uh, all the overlays we have right now are layers, meaning they were shape files in some form of shape file that was brought in. They're not already a map in DRA in this app. Um, we just created a map so we can add a map and I'll go here and you can see um, there's our the map we just created, the CN, CANDC. Um, and you can use, there's this filtering uh, line up here and these buttons kind of help you, you know, easy filters. So our default filter says, we're gonna show you the maps from this state, maps that are mine, right? That, that I just made, or I have made in the past and COI is just the community maps. Okay. Cause that's kind of, you know, that's the most useful thing, but you can also, you know, you can turn those off. You can look at all official maps. You can look at published maps. For example, I'll just show you really quick. I'll go to published maps. I'll turn off uh, mine. And you can see here, there's a whole bunch of maps that are already built into the app. I mean, basically, we created them with this account called DRA 2020. Um, and these are all, or, you know, all the ones that are DRA 2020. These are the Native American uh, reservation and trust land maps. So we built all those in for all the states around the country because they were, you know, uh, we, we had the uh, we had the data for those because the Census Bureau publishes all those areas. And um, we felt like that was, you know, a really useful thing for people around the country. So those, you can find all kinds of maps here. Okay, let's go back to what we've got here. We're going to take CN, C-A-N-D-C. We're going to pick that. And then you always have to hit the apply to make it stick. So apply and there we've got our central area map. Now, all, when, you, when you first add a map, it usually comes up, the color's kind of too bright. It's, it's just kind of the way it is. So you need to go in here and then you can edit this a little bit. So you can see the fill opacity is 0.25. The opacity is kind of how, how dark that color is gonna show up or whether something can see through so I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna go down to 0.1 instead of 0.25. So that's a little, that's a little better. Um, you can see we've got the label, the central area. That was the label we, we put in there. Um, oh. So we'll keep that. Mm -hmm. In a way, a little brighter is, is slightly brighter is better. I'm on just a small laptop and I can uh -huh. see uh -huh. it, but. Okay, we, um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's let's keep it bright then. Can, let's... can you make it aqua? A little bit more pretty aqua. Um, so <laughs> we we can, but we have to go back to the other map. Oh, 
okay. and then change the color. But you can you can change the color there, and then uh, yeah. <laughs> so you want me to keep it this bright, everybody else? Okay, we'll keep it that way. Um, anyway, you, you know you can see there you can control kind of how you know some of those things, how bright it is, whether or not the area even shows, right? Because you can you can take the fill off so only the boundaries are showing okay so lots of things you can do there. and dave you can see can you overlay the proposed maps that um that the commission has currently uh i don't have that map which is there a new proposed map uh, no 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 i meant the four the four proposals that they're out there oh, yeah are, now did they share those out as dra maps I think so. Already? Yeah. Um, OK. Well, why don't you send me a link? <laughs> you can okay. send me a link in chat or something, and I could I could do that in a minute. Because you took this, because all of the, um, I believe that when you were <coughs> taking the, lay, the overlays, they should be mm -hmm. in the same place. You know, I don't know exactly if you go under your custom overlays. The ones that you got from the city of Seattle, neighborhood districts. Oh yeah, I don't know. This is yeah. So uh, oh. yeah, this doesn't doesn't have the proposed maps as overlays. It just says okay. uh, neighborhoods and schools. Yeah, it has the current districts. So if you have a new map, well, well, anyway, let's um, if if you find that, I can I can do that. But in the meantime, mm -hmm. um, let's let's go and edit this map. And then I can show you some features uh, relating to the community. I, just, I have a quick question for mm -hmm. Elsa, though. You're planning on putting those all into at, to Dave's redistricting, right? Those four maps. Um, well, Dave, do you have an answer? <laughs> I, I, I think that's what when we met, you know, whenever it was a few weeks ago, I think that's what we talked about, that you were yes. going to you were asking um, what Mary or, or maybe some of the other folks um, who work on your team to, to get those maps uh, into, into DRA here, so. Yes. But I don't, I haven't checked. I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> so. Okay, so I, we need to follow up on that. Okay. May um, I ask, this Diane Ramsey, may I ask a quick question? Just a clarification of what I'm looking at. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the big box that's this slightly purple color, mm -hmm. that's the current D3 uh, city council. Yep. And then this, what you pulled out was just the central area piece? Uh, of yeah. Yeah, so you can see that, that line right there that around the central area, yeah. that's, that's that map that we just drew. Got it, got and, it. And here, why, why don't I, I'll pull the fill back in there, so. Okay, so there's that central area. Okay. And if I may say something, Dave, right now, this mm -hmm. is the information that the commission will be using or could use as they're making the decision of where to draw the lines. So basically, this is a way in which a community will send a very specific proposal to the commission <laughs> by saying, we would like to keep our community together. We have identified our community of interest, which is this one, this, um, big uh, green, bright yellow area is a community we want to keep together. And so as the, as the commissioners are making the decision of where to put that line, and we know for a fact that the district three has to um, become smaller. So that's when they will make and take in consideration this. And this is when it will be helpful for the commissioners to consider the, as they're making their decisions. Okay, so the, the reason I ask that question is as I go through the mechanics of figuring out where, it should, where the line should be, then I would add in another neighborhood and then another neighborhood and another neighborhood till I reach that right number. Is that what the process? I yes, should, okay. pretty much. That is if, so that's if we wanted to draw an entire map of our own, right? But uh, uh, so we would have to know what everybody's thinking in the North End even, right? Well, so well, not, not so much, Joanne. What I was thinking was if, if, if the proposal is to keep District 3 together, then I think right. from my perspective, my exercise would be, okay, how many bodies do we have to get rid of 
and then play with these other neighborhoods to see where we can propose, should the question arise, who we think should be pulled out of it. I think the proposal is to keep the central area together and every other neighborhood has their integrity. So they're gonna start at the north end of the city and the south end of the city and the east and the west and march in through those neighborhoods until they reach those populations. So I'm not sure we can be accountable or necessarily that District 3 will stay together. Well, but that would be my focus when I began my, my thinking about how to keep this together. That's, That's all correct. I'm, well, I, yes. I went, so I think- We can move on, we can move on. I the, but I wanna make sure that, that your, your point, Diane, is exactly right. That is exactly the conversation that the community will have as we're doing this as an exercise with one group. Um, what you can do with this map, once it's done, you can go back to your community and discuss and to say, and to say the, um, the, this group made this proposal based on the numbers. And from this, what do you think? And you can yeah. go from there. And well, that is exactly the, the right way well, of thinking. All I'm saying is as a group, the basis for how we proceed forward, for me personally anyway, is to say, this is what I want V3 to look like. Now, how can I play with all these surrounding neighborhoods that might be close, you know, little line here, little line there to get our, uh, to get us to the point where we, we will, we're good. We're yeah. not, yeah, right. okay. So, so and, and also Diane, we, would, we do need to, so I'm just going to say that uh, it would take further discussion about whether we want, we cared whether this area was in D2 or D3 you and I might have an opinion, but we didn't. We didn't. We didn't really take a, a stand on that. So let, let me just jump in here. I, that's that's really a great thing to think about. And I'm going to show you something that I. I well, so let's 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 play with the map just for a few more minutes because we don't have a lot more time. And I and I want to get right to that point of yours. Um, because if you, well, in, in, I've, you know, I've played around with this a little bit, looking at the numbers over the last, you know, month or so, a couple of months. Um, if you say the central areas needs to stay together and stay in district three, it could be a challenge. And here's why. Look at district one. Let's look at the left-hand panel. So district one is short 5,600 people. So it has to grow, it has to gain some. Here's district one, you know, West Seattle. The only, only where, only place it can go, it can eat into district two or maybe kind of crawl up here into downtown, okay? District yeah. two also is short almost 6,000 people. So it needs to grow as well. And the only place it can grow, well, it can't grow to district one because that has to grow. So it can grow into downtown or up into the central area, right? I mean, this is this is what's going to be the one of the challenges. So let's just let me just play around with it for a moment. And I mean, this is really for you all to kind of, you know, get your kind of get into and thinking about and then think about what might work for you that you think the commission so is gonna like. It's too bad you don't have the other overlays of the four <coughs> maps because I, I would be well, interested in how that computer generated one compared to this. Because- Right, right. There right, was some, I, one time I was look, doing some estimates look, and that purple area there almost seemed, at the bottom almost seemed to take up, make <coughs> district two be okay. Right. So, so if we, you know, if we start by adding some to district two here, right? And let's just say we add, you know, whatever is not part of the central area first and see how that goes. Okay. Now, okay, that actually is pretty good. If you look at the side do, panel. How did you do that on a, on a map that you're just copied in that you can't change? Oh, well, see, I made a copy. I made, um, I made an editable copy of this map, but that's why it's called copy of the city council oh, and map. And then you're just painting it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what I would suggest you do, you know, take the current map or take one of those other maps, or you could start from scratch, you know, 
Um, but probably taking, you know, taking one of the existing maps is easier because it, it gives you a, 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 a leg up. Um, and then you can make a copy of it. So you haven't, you know, edit permission to your, it's your own personal copy. And then you can go ahead and kind of paint this in. Now, it, uh, oh, that, see that, uh, now I'm, I'm looking here, you know, I, when I paint, I look over on the left side and I say, oh, district two, oh, now it's got oh, too many people, over a thousand. Let's just undo that last one. That, that last, that little triangle right there had what, 1200 people in it or something. So, um, so anyway, um, that, okay, that's, maybe that's not too bad. In other words, we picked up those other areas that had been part of District 3, uh, not part of the central area neighborhood. And we've got a pretty good number for District 2. Now, of course, District 1 here, you know, we've got to do something, but, you know, maybe we kind of, let's, let's say, okay, well, that's a big precinct. I'm going to, I'm going to, just split off a piece of this precinct around, you know, Lumen Field and all that. So let's, um, for District 1, let's just add in, you know, this uh, area, I guess it's just a little west of, of Highway 99. And then that can kind of get us into downtown. Now, I don't know if the, you know, who knows if the, uh, oh, there's the one commission's going to, going to like this, but you know, that is a way of I could, I could getting- I could I-5 and, and have the whole stadium district down into district one then. So, right, yeah, and maybe, yeah, so maybe you do that. Um, you know, I know there's, there's actually one, not, yeah. I know there's one group advocating for the international CID to be a part of district one. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So oh. you- um, Well, yeah, so if, if district one kind of comes into here, you know, then that's gonna, then that will push district two up into this area, you know, that's part of the central area, right? Well, we because they that would take that population. Massachusetts, or did you, I think we could lose south of Massachusetts, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that, I see. Right, right. Um, yeah, so, here, let me just take that off of there so we can just see the, you can still see the lines there and, and that'll make it easier to kind of paint that as what district two. So yeah, you could, you could sort of do that. I don't know. <laughs> well, so, so no, anyway, anyway I, that triangle that <clears throat> Atlant looks something to do with Atlantic street. And I don't know how many people even really live there, but uh, there's some history with the Atlantic street business mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so anyway, you know, we're just, we're going to run out of time here. Um, hopefully this kind of gives you the tools for you all to go and kind of and play around with this and you can kind of see maybe how the, the commission, you know, what they're up against to kind of craft uh, a potential solution that works for you that, you know, that, that will work for the commission. I do want to show one more quick thing here that could be of interest to you. Uh, it's a little bit technical, but we have a way of measuring how communities get split, okay? So you can see right now, I, you know, we, we've got our map. It does split the central area a little bit. Yeah, you, you If and you also go into this, hold, hold on a second. If you go into this advanced tab, it's kind of a little, a little esoteric here, but I wanted to point it out to you because maybe a few of you would be interested in that. This is a lot of, a lot of, um, there's a lot of partisan, you know, bias and stuff like that, which is really not relevant in this case, but there's, you see up here, there's something called community splitting. So if you click this link, it takes you to the bottom of this page, community splitting, and we can <laughs> click analyze here. And for every community map, so we've got our central area map, it gives you some numbers, right? It says, yes, the community was split. Um, and it gives you this, you know, 0 0.23, 0 0.48. Well, what's that, right? Uh, you know, I don't, you know, now, you know, I didn't implement this, one of my colleagues did. So I had to look as well. You go over here, you see this little 
information icon, click that, and it takes you to this article. This is my colleague, Alec, who implemented this, wrote this, and this sort of digs into the details of what those numbers mean. And as he says there, you know, the effective splits, it's kind of giving you, it's trying to give you a measure of, of how much it's split. Is it split in half? Is it split just a tiny bit? And then the second number is, um, you know, if any particular person in the community were to say, which district am I in? How hard would it be to guess? And, and kind of the idea being, if there's only a tiny piece, you know, in other words, there's a 10% uh, of, the, of the, the neighborhood is split off, then it's easy to guess 90% of the time, if you guess the big piece, you're gonna be right. So that would be a high number. So anyway, um, that's kind of esoteric, but I wanted mm -hmm. to point out that it is there because it could be something useful as you kind of really dig into this, this stuff. And so. Dave, thank you for this. I wanted to also mention that since we took this as an example, because I am the, uh, this group particularly, they're looking at this communities and they're basing it a lot on um, neighborhoods and streets, but it could be a community that it's all by um, just, for instance, um, the Latino, Latinos living in this whole area. And I know that this is where all we all live or the TAM community. This is where we are in the map and this is what, and this is how you can see how the maps that are being proposed are going to be impacting them. Um, specifically, it doesn't have mm -hmm. to be a proposal. It may be like, oh, we're going to still be in, in District 2 and nothing's going to change and we're fine either way because we're in the middle. But maybe you're right in the line where things are going to cross and you may want to um, raise a flag with your community by saying this is a possibility. We need to make sure that they know that we're here and that we don't want to be split or that it, it actually it's a, it's a benefit for us and we want to make sure that um at least they know that it's a good thing so for example we really want to see north beacon hill to stay together we really want to see the cid to stay together because that is territorial lake city i'm thinking about where there's a lot of high density more density of a uh, latino uh culture and things right that's right 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 you know one uh, you, you kind of bring up a uh a, a one thought uh, Elsa with, with this. And that is, um, you know, we, we created this central area and it's one contiguous area, mm -hmm. but, but it doesn't have to be contiguous. In other words, you can create a community that has mm -hmm. two or three or four different areas that are not contiguous. It could mm -hmm. still be, you know, one community, but it, it, it doesn't have to be contiguous. So I just wanted oh. to, to point that oh. out. May I ask a question about the precinct details? Mm -hmm. that, that is totally blank. Do we mm -hmm. care in our, our analysis of this about the, uh, <clears throat> the demographics or the voting age? Is that something that should be of concern? Because I don't know, you, don't you wanna keep some kind of balance or no? Um, well, I, I think, I guess that's, yeah, that's really a commission, uh, commission question. Um, Let's see. It. Just you can yes, see and, the, yeah. the precinct details come up. It, it comes up when you hover over the precincts while you're painting. Sometimes we show the district details instead there. Um, but whether or not uh, you know the demographics are important. Something I, I, Yeah. So something seems changed. Oh, excuse about me, Donna Ruby. Were you going to say something? I'd like to ask a question. Yes, please go ahead. He said um, you could have a community that's not one continuous community. What would split them up? What would be in between wherever? Well, I mean, if you like, um, you know, Elsa mentioned um, kind of, uh, you know, Latino, Latina yes. community, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so you can think of, you know, that community, there may be people that live in the central area, maybe some people live in in Lake City, right? Uh, but they really kind of consider themselves, you know, we're we're still part of the same community, even though we don't live close together. So you could have a, a an area that's sort of uh, has a lot of Latinos up in Lake City, and an area 
in central or in, in South Seattle that has a lot of Latinos as well. Um, and, and that's still, you know, you could still say we're part of the same community and we wanna see how the map is gonna affect us as a whole. You know, that would, um, I understand what you're saying in terms of psychologically, you know, being the same community. I understand that perfectly. Um, you know, in the case of the CD, a lot of our CD relatives, I mean, our relatives are in Kent now and Federal Way and all those mm -hmm. places. And we have used that concept sometimes, you know, like for the um, African Town Fest and for, you know, festivals and stuff. The CD is a mindset more so than a geographical location. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But where that tends to break down, and, and I, I've been getting pretty serious about this, if you are a grandmother and you live in the CD, and you know more than likely your kids and grandkids are gonna be uh, priced out of Seattle and they're gonna be in Kent or someplace like that. Well, now it may be a mindset, but practical pra in practical terms, if the grandmother needs help her kids are hard it's hard for them to get to her if they're way out in federal way if they need if their her grandkids in federal ready need a babysitter they can't get the baby to the grandmother and the grandmother can't get to them so it really becomes quite unhealthy for these communities to be uh, split up you know for these uh <laughs> You know, right. because you got relatives and you got people with support systems and, you know, they need their support systems. And it's just, it's just messing it up for them. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And if I may say one way in which to uh, for that to be useful is in this case is for the commissioners to see where are all those communities spread up through the city, for instance, and if they have to make decisions of where um, they are going to split work community on other, they can start thinking, okay, we're, we, we're splitting, we don't have any other options, but we're splitting too many communities of the same community in different parts of the city. So we have to be mindful about this, for instance. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. why it's also information that the commission can use as they're making decisions. And I want to make sure that we are going to um, be closing up because we are out of time. I think we have time for maybe, I don't know if you have more Something to close us up well, with. I just so I, it's another question. I just want yeah. to make sure that this one, the map that you have there is not what we're proposing. The map that you're showing now for D3 is not what we're proposing, and it's not the Correct. old map. Correct. I just so I just wanted to see it back to the way it was so that it doesn't appear that that's what we're proposing. Uh, right. Well, this is yeah, this the copy of the city sound. This is just my own personal map that. Um, oh, but I, I should share you out called the, it, you called it the CANDC one. Didn't you? Um, well, let's go back to I can share that one out uh, before we go here. Let's do that. So, um, yeah, just one thing. There's a share uh, control. It's here. And it's if you're looking at the map. So I can say share and I can copy this link. OK, I'll put that in the chat. And so that's going to be the link just to the community map itself that, that we drew. And you all can, so everybody can, um, can take that here. I'll put it right in the chat right there. Okay. So that's the, uh, the CAN map right there. <clears throat> um, so if you, you know, you can, there's a way you can save the chat. Um, right there, maybe, I don't know if Elsa can tell you. Yes, I will do that. <laughs> you know, so everybody, yeah, if you want to just save the chat or else you can, you know, maybe if, if um, you grab that uh, link, then you'll have it. So if you all mm -hmm. take that link and you bring it up, um, that'll be that central area map that we made. It has, it's not the city council map, not the big map, but just the, the community map and then you can take that you can make a copy of it and then that's your own copy you can do whatever whatever you want with it you can play around with that you can use it in some other 
you know, if you start looking at, um, uh, you know, the overall C Seattle map, you can kind of use that map on top of it with the way we were doing as well. Okay. Good. Okay. Well, great. Thank you very much. This is great. I mean, I really, uh, I really enjoyed talking with all of you and hearing your thoughts and concerns. It's great to kind of uh, really get the conversation going around this because this is, this is what this process is going to be. I think through the summer. I don't know exactly. Uh, it'll end in the fall, I think. Um, so uh, let you know. Let your commission know. Uh, and definitely getting together in the you know different neighborhood groups, different community groups, you know, banding together with people and working on this together is is really the way to go because that's um, that's how you're going to make a, an impression on the commission of listening to your concerns. Yeah. You know. Thank you so thank much, you Dave, and thank you everybody and, and showing us the map. Yeah. Yes, you're very you. welcome. Yeah. No, my pleasure. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for everyone to show up today. Thanks, Elsa. Please reach out to me. I will send out the link to everybody who participated here and um, in the recording. It will be up in our website probably um, by Tuesday. Okay. okay. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Dave, do you mind saying for a second? Just... Oh, yeah. No problem. Let me stop recording.